Hi, everyone, and welcome to the preview show delivered by FedEx. I'm Marty Snyder from NBC Sports. This is Chris Rice from NTS Motorsports and also right here at NASCAR.com. Matt Kenseth wins the race at New Hampshire, race number two of the 2015 Chase for the Sprint Cup. That's right, Matt Kenseth, the guy that this man, Chris Rice, said was, quote, peaking too early a few weeks ago. You uh, you reconsidering that, Rice, or what? No, it just shows the depth that Joe Gibbs <laughs> Racing has, you know. So, right. no, I'm not reconsidering it. They're really, really good right now, and, and you got to give it to them. They had to be in a position to take off where the four you know, right. was out of fuel. Exactly right. You mentioned Kevin Harvick running out of fuel with three laps to go. This obviously puts him in a situation at Dover this weekend where they pretty much need to win the race to advance to round two. But this is the spot they were in last year at Phoenix, and they did it. They w were able to advance to that final round, and then they went on to win the championship. How much does that experience help Rodney Childers and Kevin Harvick? Well, you and I know Rodney Childers very well. We know he's a, he's a racer at heart. He's raced all his life. He drove. So I'm telling you right now, he's, he's grouped them guys together, and he said, we're going to win this thing. They ran well at Dover many, many times, not once, not twice, but three times. They've had a shot to win the race at late, and they just hadn't pulled it off. This might be their chance to go and win this race, and they did do it at Phoenix last year, so I have no doubt in my mind they're going to run good. That experience certainly cannot hurt that four team, no doubt about it. All right, let's check out the chase grid after two races, and you can look at the top, but Chris, let's focus on really 10th through 16th. you got Jeff Gordon there, plus 12 to that cut line. Dale Earnhardt Jr., plus one. I know Junior Nation's a little worried. Kyle Busch is one under the cut line, and Harvick and Boyer down there on the bottom. Of all those bubble guys, who has the best, best chance to survive Dover and make it into round two? Jeff Jeff Gordon. I really like Jeff Gordon. Dover is a racetrack Jeff Gordon likes, and it really fits his driving style. I know he's almost retired, but I'm telling you, <laughs> he still has it. I mean, right. just because he hadn't won this year doesn't mean he doesn't have it. And Dover is a place that fits his driving style, so I like Jeff Gordon to make it to the next round. And by the way, who won at Dover last year? Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon won at Dover last year. And speaking of Hendrick Motorsports and Jeff Gordon winning at Dover, they've won the last four races there, Chris. So I'm wondering from you, does that then make them the favorite this weekend? Absolutely not. I feel their motor is a favorite because SHR has their motor. And you, you have Kurt Busch and Kevin Harvick going for a win. I'm telling you, I feel they have the best chance out of the Hendrick Motorsports stable, if you say, to have a shot to win a race. But you can't forget about Gibbs going and taking over neither. I mean, they've been fast everywhere they go, even though I did say the 20 was peaking. Yeah, exactly right. But if there's one place we can say Jimmy Johnson, if he has a shot to win, it's got to be Dover. He's done it 10 times. I mean, he knows his way around this racetrack, no doubt about that. Speaking of Dover, and this being the cutoff race, the first one in the chase, what makes Dover such a tough race to be to be a cutoff race? Racetrack changes over and over. When we, when we race a lot of green laps, we get the track really black. And then we have a caution and we pick a lot of the rubber up so that crew chiefs and drivers are constantly chasing the racetrack. Even though it's a mile racetrack, even when you're in traffic, you're in dirty air. So you, your car is gonna be way different in dirty air than it is when you're leading. So the racetrack changes time and time again throughout 400 laps. The interesting thing for me is if you look at those guys who are in trouble here, basically near the cutoff line, Gordon McMurray Jr., Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Clint Boyer, they're all so strong at Dover. Do you see a big shakeup in points this weekend? Absolutely. They're going to give you a lot to talk about this <laughs> week. But we're going to be following this race and just going, okay, who's going to make it? Who's, gonna, uh, who's not going to make it? And I'm telling you, you have to watch the entire race because you never know what's going to happen throughout the race. Kyle Busch, he either wins or he crashes at Dover. So, I mean, it's, it's tough to say who's going to make it right. until right at the end. If you're one of those guys right on the bubble, how do you play the race? Do you, do you play it conservatively or are you aggressive the whole race? 300 laps. we got to be conservative. we got to make it to the end. It's a saying that I have, ATL, all the laps. They have to run all the laps to make it into the next round. So they got to run 300 laps conservative, and then they got to figure out, okay, we got 100 laps to set ourselves up to go win, and that's when you get aggressive to go after the win or the best finish that you can have. All right, let's do our picks, which is now it's time to show what we kind of know what we're talking about, right? So who are you going to pick this weekend? Well, you know, we've talked a lot about Gibbs, and we've talked a lot about Hendrick, but I am going with the 41 car. Kurt <laughs> Busch, Tony Gibson, Rick Corelli, all those guys are really good at Dover. I guess they have Kevin Harvick to kind of lean on, and I know that you like Kevin Harvick from last week's show, so I like Kurt Busch this weekend. Well, I'm going to pick, I am going to pick Kevin Harvick, and I appreciate you pointing that out, but I, I just think when they're in this situation, Kevin Harvick responds, that entire team responds, but I'm more picking it based off the speed that they have had, and I spent some time with Rodney Childers this week, 
and, and I, I can tell you they are absolutely determined. Not only are they going to make it to the next round, they're going to win this race, and, and they are now determined even more so to go out and win this championship. Not a Gibbs car. Not a Gibbs car. Not one of us picking a Gibbs car. How about that? So that'll, we'll see if we made a mistake by not doing that. Make sure you park it right here on NASCAR.com all weekend long in car audio, live leaderboards, and of course, after Dover, the all-important chase grid. You'll know who the 12 are that'll be playing in round two of the chase, starting with Charlotte next week. Make sure you check us out next week. We'll talk about the hometown race right here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Enjoy the race weekend at Dover, everyone.